A very, very good afternoon and welcome back to the program. My name is Maxwell Wasige. Robert Osoro has decided to take a back seat, but he will be back shortly. Of course, we're keeping it cool and easy on the touchline Y254 from 12 to 2. Just talking about every sporting discipline. And this time around, joining me on set are two people from an integral part as far as Raya Rally, slated for next month, 9th to 10th. And they will be keeping us informed about the details of the same. Wamuyu Gikonyo at the middle. Glad to have you on board. How do you feel being here for the first time? Great. It's great. It's great. I'm happy to be here. You good to be here and yes. you're happy to be here. Yes. And John Joroge, head of the course, also joining us on set. How are you feeling? Uh, very okay. Very okay. Yeah. Maybe starting with okay. you, Geeks. What about Raya Rally and what are the nitty gritties of the same? Uh, this is a collaboration between uh, Raya and uh, Rally Sport Kenya, actually, two Rally Sport clubs. And uh, the event is uh, basically organized to promote grassroots rallying, whereby we are trying to nurture and promote uh, upcoming uh, rally enthusiasts who, are, who would like to join the sport, but due to the uh, big cost involved, cannot be able to participate, so for example, in the national rally championships. So we are coming in uh, to be able to give a chance and an opportunity for all these uh, young and old people who would like to join the sport. So we are here and uh, we are hoping that uh, the event will be well attended and uh, so far we have about 23 confirmed drivers who will take part, old and new, and uh, we are welcoming all Kenyans. We have a category also that uh, will give an opportunity even for normal road cars but with some certain level of uh, safety features for them to participate. So, Mr. Kikonyo, Mr. Njoroge, 23 confirmed participation in an event uh, you marked for a few days from now as we speak. Probably what is the modality like and the procedure in case one is interested to join and take part? Uh, well, uh, for the Rai Rai, uh, we are having the Group K, the one we are calling the Group K for Kenya. This mm -hmm. one is a group of where uh, you can enter a normal pickup uh, with some specifications uh, like the roll cage, the roll bar on top of where also you have to have the safety uh, like the helmet uh, also your, your seat belts and this mm -hmm. car has to go up prevent scrutineering before the main scrutineering mm -hmm. we've uh, identified workshops uh, with uh, Azanwa and uh, some other few people who are very qualified because we really have to be on safety first for the group K uh, also uh, there are some other cars like uh, Toyota, Simple Toyota, Levin. Also those ones, we have their specifications of where you have to put a nice roll bar with uh, our specifications. Uh, and also that one can enter also the Cross K. This Cross K is uh, the one now which brought us to get the name Rai Yarari. Mm -hmm. Because so many cars are running down, the budget has become so high to enter a Kenya National Rally Championship. So these are uh, newcomers, they don't have any place to come and race. Mm -hmm. So we've put the Cross K for the beginners in a very low budget where you can be able to race mm -hmm. and start running uh, what we call the basics of, of racing. Geeks, you are yes. one of the rally drivers uh, selected to take part in the event and when he's talking about low budget uh -huh. uh, costs that are supposed to be made by those who are seeking to participate, what are the details of the same? Uh, basically the budgets are pretty low in terms of uh, we are charging a very little uh, entry fee or we'll be paying a very small entry fee about uh, 5,000 Kenya shillings. Then uh, the rest will mostly be costs associated with the uh, fuel and probably a few spare parts here and there and a small fee for accommodation because the event starts on Saturday and ends on Sunday. So we're talking of roughly maybe for really budget entrance maybe around somewhere between a hundred at the minimum, a hundred thousand at the minimum. Yeah, depending on what car you're running and what fuel your car runs on again. And during the media briefing on Wednesday <coughs> at a Nairobi hotel, I saw some top honchos of Kenyan uh, rallying, being involved and attending mm -hmm. the session, as are Anwar and even KMSF president yes. also in attendance. How are they, how have you uh, brought them on board and probably how have you actively involved them in ensuring that it's a successful event? Um, 9th and 10th? 
Well, mm. for them, uh, we are mostly involving them in the planning, uh, especially KMSF, being the motorsport federation that uh, all motorsport is governed under in Kenya. And uh, we have uh, been following uh, there are rules in terms of running our event so that uh, the event runs according to the laid down rules and procedures of the land. And uh, for Phineas, uh, he's the chairman and uh, also he's going to be uh, the patron of uh, the event, uh, seeing that uh, we are getting mm. the permit to run the event through uh, Rally Sport Kenya Club uh, RSC. So uh, in that sense, I think uh, he's been, he's given us, our, uh, he's given our club uh, his goodwill and uh, go ahead in terms of uh, running and going ahead with the event. So we are very happy to get the backing from the top and we are all set. Wananjorogi, you are the head of course. Maybe talk to us about the technical aspect of the event and probably the spectator zones for those seeking to attend and cheer their favorite drivers take okay. on the rest of the opponents. Okay. Uh, <coughs> well, uh, for this event, uh, it will be held in the Moranga County. Mm -hmm. Uh, of where we have uh, have come up with nine competitive stages. Uh, there will be a spectator stage uh, at Kangare, a place we are calling Maire. Uh, in a brief, uh, I can go throughout the route uh, of where the nine competitive stages. Mm -hmm. The first stage, uh, the start of the event will start at uh, a hotel we are calling the Golden Palm. Golden Palm Hotel. Then we go down all the way to Makuyu, which mm -hmm. is 13 kilometers to Makuyu. We do a very quick dash of uh, 12 kilometers, which is very quick. It's like mm -hmm. a wake-up call for the drivers. Uh, from there now, we head now down to Moranga sides at the uh, tea plantations, mm -hmm. of where uh, we'll get the first stage, uh, the second stage story, of uh, 8.9 kilometers. It's a quick dash mm -hmm. also, very smooth. Um, then from there, it's uh, another quick dash to where we are calling uh, Kanyanyaine. Mm -hmm. From Kanyanyaine, now this is the stage where it's very technical. It's a 23 kilometer stage. Uh, this stage, uh, to compare it, uh, we can compare it with a place uh, in uh, Rift Valley where we call it uh, the Nyaru, where mm -hmm. it's been done so many years. So I've come up with that stage. Uh, for the newcomers to learn uh, because it's not straight, it's very twisty mm -hmm. with downhills, uphills, everything in an event you'll get in this stage. From that stage now guys will head back to, to service and then a regroup. Then we do the what I'm calling a power stage. It's a very quick stage of 5.6 kilometers. After that another 12, then we go now to the Dakaine side. People know the Kaine Dam and uh -huh. everything. Very nice viewing. So spectators, the Dakaine side, and also the Kanyanyaine side, uh -huh. uh, those are the places you can view. We also have the spectator stage at Maire, which is like a two kilometer, which will be continuous with the, with the competitive uh -huh. to end up at Kangari po Youth uh -huh. Polytechnic for the service. Then the other three kilometer, uh, the other three stages, the 5, the 12, and the 22 will be repeated in the afternoon. And then now we come up to the end again to the Youth Polytechnic for the final prize giving. And for the spectator side, um, I know so many people know about the safety of the rally cars. Um, throughout the route, uh, on the Saturday, uh, we're having a vehicle which we are calling like a safety vehicle, which will go around on Saturday with a megaphone and whatever announcing. We have bulletins we have issued to the churches like uh, for tomorrow to start announcing before the event. Geeks, yes. while talking about the eligibility requirements for those seeking to take part, uh, you mentioned about the event being meant for low profile mm -hmm. rally drivers. Maybe why didn't you thought of uh, the iconic figures in terms of rally in Kenya to take part as well, probably to act as presenters for the event? Uh, well, as uh, we have mentioned, even to the letter and spirit of our event, we want to promote grassroots rallying. Uh, we know that uh, for somebody to get to the championships, yes. they must start from somewhere. True. And this is what we are seeking to do from now going forward. This is not going to be just a one-time event, but it's going to be 
um, a, a championship that we are going to run through the year concurrently together with the Kenya National Rally Championships. So we are hoping that uh, through our event, you start and you grow th through the sport. And eventually, in a few years' time, a year, two, three years, you can be able to go and race with established drivers in the mainstream uh, Kenya, Kenya National Rally Championship. And probably as a person who is actively involved in the sports, what are you doing in partnership with other relevant stakeholders to ensure that you spread uh -huh. the sport to Machinani at the grassroots where, of course, there are plenty of people passionate about the game? Um, what we have done, like uh, before we had this event, there was another one also, a grassroots event called the Cheka Cheka. Uh, this event was held in uh, uh, Kajiado Ngong town areas. And uh, well, I think from what we saw or heard at the event, uh, was that, I mean, a lot of people got to know and hear about the event, even from the villages. And uh, we saw quite a number of them uh, show interest in terms of coming to view or even coming to interact with the drivers who are on the ground. So we're also hoping that uh, through our event, uh, we are going to see a lot of young people from Moranga and environs, even from Nairobi, because, I mean, the place is quite near where we're having the rally to Nairobi. We're hoping that uh, we'll see... Uh, People who have interest will reach out. You know, you come around and try to get a word or two from a driver or even from the organizers. And, you know, we are ready to interact with people. We are also ready to even guide the people who are interested or who would like to participate. Banajaroga, it's time for global economic crunch on a light note, though. <laughs> <laughs> Probably in terms of cash prices, how much is uh, each winner taking home and pocketing? Well, uh for these events, uh, basically, uh, when you have sponsors, yes. maybe you can come up with a, with a token, uh, like uh, maybe a cash award uh -huh. or something. But for our event, this one, and there's so many events I've done, uh, basically we get some nice trophies mm -hmm. of which you can go home and put as a souvenir. You'll be remembering you did an event in Muranga, you did an event <coughs> somewhere else. So uh, to begin with, uh, for the first event, we are just working on trophies. Mm -hmm. We are not working on cash rewards or anything. Because basically, uh, in motor racing, uh, we don't get cash awards. We get what we call trophies. Mm -hmm. And when you keep it, you just remember, yes, I did this event, I performed. Yeah. So most of the finishers you get. Uh, like for our event now, we, we've grouped it. Um, like what you maybe asked uh, Wamoyo, mm -hmm. uh, we have classes, the K, the S, and the R. Mm -hmm. Of where, um, if you're in class K, you are racing against your group, yeah? Mm -hmm. And we have the top drivers, uh, at least we have about four or five drivers who have ventured uh, from the, these are drivers who are on the Kenya National Rally Championship. So they'll be like pacemakers for the other ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, also those ones, they are racing on their own group, which is R. Then the S, which is uh, SPV, uh, two-wheel drives, all those will be classified as, as another class. And maybe you have vast experience in terms of getting actively involved in motor racing in the country. What do you make of the state of rallying locally? Uh, and going forward? Racing rockery, yeah. Um, for me, like when I started, uh, I was... Other people are arguing that it has lost glory as compared to the heydays of the likes of Atri Konjiru, you know? Uh, I don't know from your own hands. <laughs> Do you read from the same script with them? <laughs> yes, yes. But now, uh, losing the, the fame, uh, not exactly, um, is according to the budgets. Yes. Yeah? Mm -hmm. The budgets as in uh, to organize an event. Like now, uh, our club organized the last event, the Fry 540, uh, of where Fry 540 came in the last minute. Also, as we had to postpone the event, but we didn't. Mm -hmm. uh, this one came in when uh, our main sponsor, uh, like uh, KCB, uh, when they dropped out from uh, the Kenya mm -hmm. National Rally Championship sponsorship, so each club, you have to look for your own sponsors mm -hmm. to do an event, of where you are looking from uh, 3.5 million to do an event. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Geeks, now over to you. Ladies yeah. like yourself have been quite skeptical and reluctant to mm -hmm. join the sport, saying that probably it's associated with 
only men. What's your advice for them? Especially um, those who love the game and are passionate about it, but they're scared. Well, I think first is, uh, if somebody is really interested in something, they will definitely uh, have the time to pursue. Uh, for me, uh, when I started, uh, when I gained the interest in the sport, I started with the training at uh, Astra, Abil Sidi Rally Academy. That's where I think all of us, if not most of us, started. So at that school, it's uh, where we are trained about the nitty gritties of the rallying and how to go about it from the word go in terms of reading the notes, uh, how to conduct yourself in the rally car, what to do, how to prepare and all that. So I believe that uh, if somebody is uh, keen on joining the sport or is interested, uh, definitely they can be able to uh, get a hold of uh, ASRA and you know enroll because it's a free school but uh, all you have to do is be consistent in terms of attending the lessons. Uh, myself, I attended the classes, the training, the whole of 2013, then I participated in a rally in my first event in 2015. So it's a journey also. How has been your experience, like up to date? Uh, well, my experience, I would say I'm still growing in the, in the sport. Uh, seeing that I just came in in uh, 2013 uh, after I finished my training, I've done uh, two training rallies and I'm going to do the third one. So I think it's very exciting for me and uh, I mean it's very good. I love speed and yeah. Of course you're talking about Mata Sports on the touchline. Why 254? Maxwell Wasike, Robert Osoro has taken a back seat but he will be back shortly. Of course talking about sports as it's happening both local and international. Remember this afternoon at a refuge grounds along Gong Road. Epic Thai grand fixture beating our very own Kenya Simbas taking on the Hong Kong in a return leg of the test match and remember the squad was named on Wednesday and several changes being made. Wilson Kopondo coming in to be the skipper to be deputized by a man who led KCB to both Kenya Cup and Enterprise Cup triumphs. That is Darwin Mkiza. So you're gonna make your way there. It's 4 p.m. East African time and 400 shillings for uh, terrors and a thousand bob for the VIP. So you can make your way there and cheer your favorite team. Take on Hong Kong in a full test match return leg happening this particular afternoon. Maybe as we wind up, Bananjoroge, you are parting short ahead of the big event. Uh, for this big event, uh, basically uh, what I want to like uh, advise the spectators. Uh, first of all, don't drink and drive. That's our main motto. Mm -hmm. Because we look at safety first. Even on the driver's side and everything, uh, we look at safety. Uh, all what I can say is uh, the rally, we don't have a, a budget. We're asking for volunteers. I have had so many volunteers coming in, and uh, like today in the afternoon, I'm meeting some of my volunteers who will be like the controllers, the marshalling, yeah. Uh, also on those sides of Moranga, I've talked with the, with the Buddha Buddha guys uh, of where they are very ready to help. Because uh, what we are learning on, we are running on uh, open closed roads. Yes. Yeah. Of where we have to close the roads for, uh, like for us that are now. Mm -hmm. Like on the first stage, since we are running it from uh, 7.30, by 9 o'clock, uh, we don't need it again. So mm -hmm. we, we like move to the other, the other stages. But the, for the three stages which are, we are repeating twice, uh, that's why the Moranga County has come in with their police and everything they'll be measuring for us and i think the event uh, on safety side that's the first thing we are looking at gigs yes. your final submissions as we head to the event uh, which i'm also likely to attend yes you better come I'll I know for you. no worries so i think for event i'd like to extend a welcome come one come all uh, and we hope to see as many of you there cheering us on and um, also even those who can be able to come in in support either in kind or in cash we are very open and uh, we'll be willing uh, to take on so we are happy that uh, we'll be able to have this event finally it was supposed to happen last year but uh, due to certain uh, other issues we were not able to have it but we're happy that it's finally going to happen Wamuyu Gikonyo, one of the 23 drivers, confirmed participation in Abadeya Rayara Ali, earmarked for next month's 9th to 10th, alongside head of 
because John Joroge just joining us on set to dissect about the event lined up. Of course, it's the touchline on Y254. Thank you for your time. Thank you for making Thank it you. to join us and keep our audience informed about the details of the event. We shall be looking forward to be there yeah. and Thanks. give it much needed coverage. The touchline returns next, and of course it continues, but let's take a look at the Bonfas. Amban is Kenyan, is former Kenyan international, and he played both for FC Leopards and the national team around the stars. And remember talking about FC Leopards, they are taking on their rivals, Gourmet, 15-time KPL champions tomorrow at Nyan National Stadium, 3 p.m. East African time in Mashemeji Derby. Let's take a look and stay with us. It's the touchline.